spring my ass. Jesus, it's cold. Trees are leaving them out, but it's cold. Well, we're working on the dually. Have a coat of throttle position since they're not working properly. One of you said is, was it dirty? It wasn't too bad. I went ahead and sprayed it down. There was very little. I mean, it did, wasn't hanging up. And now I know what I need to fix the AC on this dually. See, it's green. I need a compressor, so I got to get me a compressor, and then I can hopefully have AC working in this dually again. So, the heck is that? What the heck is that? Huh, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to. I got a new one, and ah, there we go. So we're just going ahead and put a new one on. I've seen. I know what you were talking about. I'm being dirty in there, but uh, this one wasn't. I mean, it was pretty much about that clean there. So. I'll get my little socket and this is another set I Sears came out with that I liked and it's been a good little set because it's got your regular allens and your torques and yeah hey you got the right first time so alrighty oh, I was going to add to this before the complaint with my truck here is I've noticed once in a while I got to let up on the foot feed to get it to shift. And there's been a couple of times when it shifted, it just boom! Well, the only thing that came up and was throttle position sensor, and I guess that also helps control the shift points in the transmission, which makes sense now. So. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and change that, so, and hopefully that takes care of the problem. And maybe also help with the gas mileage on this thing. And then my air box has never fit. This is an aftermarket fender. i got to come and somehow trim that out a little so the thing will fit in there and lock in and ride where it's supposed to. That's the only problem about aftermarket. All right, we'll get at it. Here's the original, but look at here. That's loose, flopping around in there. The new one don't move. So I've got a feeling. Yeah, look at that. The new one won't move. So anyway, it's a simple little piece to put on. Just like that. And you get your two uh, torque screws, which is a T25. So, Roger's sleeping in the shop, otherwise I'd have him help me record this. But I'll get those in, and then we'll see if I can take a little bit out of there, right there, quick. Get that thing to fit, and uh, call it good. Now I'll see how hard it is to start. I know it's going to be hard to start at first because the stuff I sprayed down there to clean the throttle body. That air cleaner, that fender just don't fit right. I don't want to have to maybe put a cap on. Now I'll go get the scanner and double check and that so well uh got a mess issue found out why timing's off let's go to set it what i find in the air cleaner damn mouse nest 
Let's see, I got a K&N filter in here. So I'm have to blow that out, but uh, yeah. The distributor is off nine degrees. So I gotta pull the distributor and reset it. Yay me. Well, I got lucky as hell. Look at that, there's nothing left of the distributor gear. It is gone. I'm like, oh. I'm surprised I didn't shear off. Wow. Anyway, I gotta look around and see if I got one now, so, all right. Yeah, it's so cold that it fogged up the camera, I see. Uh, yeah. We are now on our way to go get a brand new distributor for the black truck. The stupid gear. And then by the time I buy a cap and rotor, yeah, I just won't buy the whole distributor, so. Yeah, anyway. And the dually, I just took it for the first drive after changing that switch, and it's shifted, boom, 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 boom. Exactly like it's supposed to, so. Strange on how a little electrical police like that can screw with everything else. Anyway, before I completely fog over, I'll be back. Look at there, guys. That guy lost his rear axle. There's, there's the trailer. There's the axle. Wow. What a mess. <laughs> hey, look at there. At least they ain't for me. Anyway. There's what the teeth are supposed to look like. And there's what they're not supposed to look like. See, they're just eight away. And there's the old distributor. Yeah, to buy that gear and the cap and rotor was going to be more than buying the whole damn unit. But this distributor hold down they sent is a non-adjustable. I got to be able to adjust this thing, so. Well, it's getting darker and colder, and I'm going to get out there and get right back to it. Let's see. Same size, so all right, we'll get out here and let's say. And I'm trying to think too, because I was pull, turning the distributor cap all this way and it was up against the intake and I couldn't get it down the timing. So that means I gotta move that tooth. Okay, that did not make sense on how I had to set the timing. I had to pull the distributor out, went forward with it, thinking I had to go that way, but it wasn't really. Ah. Um, yeah, we got a brand new distributor in here, and she sounds like a total different truck now. This is what you're supposed to do. Zero. Without that thing there, you are not setting the timing. God, it sounds a lot better. Hell, I'll get the air cleaner on and we'll take it for a run. Black truck sounds a lot better. A lot better. Now we're trying to get this one in time. But, of course, the battery's deader than a doornail. This one, the distributor was up against the driver's side. And see, when it was against the passenger side, I had to go reverse. I went another tooth forward and it got worse, so I had to go one, two, then went three teeth back and boom, I got the black truck. So I went back, so this side, since I'm up against the driver, I figured I have to go ahead a tooth, so I went ahead one tooth, so hopefully that was the right guess. So. I don't know if the battery's got enough to go yet or not. Because that was 10 degrees off on this before, so. Oh, we're getting closer. So, I guess I'll let it charge a little longer. As you can hear, we're running the hot tank now. Worked on the green truck. I finally got the damn timing set at zero. 
and that shrimp when it's cold or before it gets initially warmed up it'll go it'll shift the gears that you stand on and it goes as soon as it gets warmed it just won't go but I'm thinking that's the transfer case that I stole the good uh, speed sensor out of for the other green truck so I'm gonna have to get a new I'll have to get in there and look and see if that's looks like the one I took out of the other green truck it almost like it goes in the limp mode I don't know and then black truck I was having a little issue with the transmission and I don't know where or what would have happened to it but uh, it's dry underneath but I had to dump another quart and a half of tranny fluid in there I don't know what that's about so I'll have to keep an eye on that but after putting that brand new distributor in that truck it's running good and after getting the tranny filled up it's really doing good so I don't know nothing's wet underneath so and there's no spots on the ground so I don't know just keep my eye on it and maybe I didn't get it full when we got it going so but uh, yeah we got Mr. Monte Carlo stuff uh, just got the block out it's sitting right there um, got the heads and crank in there now trying to clean them up so I can measure everything so and then the kids never showed up today to have me work on their truck. I told them I could get the tail light done for sure, but I didn't know about the wiring. They just had to show up. Well, if you're not sure, we're not coming. So I needed to go get parts for my orange motor. So I need oil pan gasket and intake gaskets. Oh. And, uh, we could get that motor running too. Oh, and poly locks. And oil restrictors. Okay, I need a few things for that motor. And uh, so I didn't go do what I was going to do this morning because I thought they were coming. Well, then they got later. Then they got later. And then they like, well, if you not sure you can do it all, we're not coming. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway. We're out of here in the 327 motor deal. I don't know. This block or the one hiding right there. As you can see, I have not got a tour part yet. So, I guess Dooley should be ready to go to get that Camaro Sunday. The black truck should be ready just to drive. And the green truck is this close. At least it starts now. Yes, I'm getting very spacey. I think I'm, my number's dropping and I forgot my meter. Because I'm up and moving around, I kind of like it. Anyway, see y'all later. We're sweating. We're heating. We're going. We're going to start making some fly out the door so see y'all later have a good one